uh, yeah, let's launch. So we're gonna save this, and this is this is it. This is for real. This is for real. We're gonna try and break the sound barrier. It's got a wild look to this bird. Yes, it is a wild looking bird. <laughs> All right. Uh, now this time, let's bring up our contract. Break the sound barrier. We'll isolate that one, so we'll just look at it and. All it says is to go faster than 343 meters per second. I'm noticing there's no stipulation for what your pitch has to be. I mean, you could just go for a dive and break the sound barrier, I suppose, on this one. But we'll try and do it kind of legitimately. Um, science. We should be collecting science already. We definitely are. Uh, we are collecting an atmospheric scan. Now, the one thing about this atmospheric scan is it takes 14, you see there's still 14 and a half minutes to collect all this, but thankfully, I mean, that's what time warping's for. So we're gonna time warp that away. There's no other science being collected because we've collected every other form of science on the surface. One thing to notice as well as this is being collected, we'll take a look at it here, is that it is on Kerbin's shores. Right, it is biome specific, but notice it doesn't say the runway. Kerbalism takes away all of the little mini biomes that are in around the KSC, so there's no sense like going over to where the space plane hangar and where the VAB is and all that stuff. That's all Kerbin shores. We can go out. Oh, Jeb, why? Oh, Jeb's got his head stuck. I'm just noticing that. <laughs> um, why does he have? Remove his helmet. Remove the neck ring. Can he get out of it? Oh gosh, he's. Maybe it's just, oh, it's a tight squeeze. Get out here, Jeb. Get us looking at you. Okay. Uh, we need to do a EVA report and a surface sample. I cannot do a surface sample. He obviously needs to be a scientist maybe for that. Okay, that's fine. I wanted a pilot anyway. Okay, we're going to time warp away. It takes a few seconds for that to happen. And we'll bring that aboard. Oh, we should also be able to do a crew report. Must not have set that one up. Okay, please tell me Jeb can get aboard. Oh, I saw a climb. Grab. Nicely done, Jebediah. Okay, board. <laughs> it's a tight fit. Crew reports, crew reports. Where's the crew report? Crew report, turn that on. Okay, that's going to take almost five minutes for the crew report. Time warp that away. Alright, and that is done. And the crew reports on waiting, so as soon as we're off the shore, we should we've used up two a third of our hard drive space. So I'm hoping I didn't mess up as far as how much this is all that I have enough storage aboard. Okay. Uh, SAS on, throttle up, view on chase. There we go. Okay, and brakes off, lights on, brakes off, punch. It. All right, Jebediah, this one's for real. And our goal here is just to break the sound barrier. Okay, up, up, up. There we are, we're off. Collecting all kinds of science. This is all above the shores. But we're gonna be over the water pretty soon. And I'm just keeping my pitch low and all we're doing is seeing if we can pick up enough speed to get to 343 meters per second. That's it. Okay, and then this is going to switch over to water pretty Oh boy, we're collecting all kinds of science. This is biome specific. A lot of this science is biome specific uh, in, while flying low. But so I can fly around and go over grasslands and shores and mountains and highlands and there's deserts on the other side of the mountains. I'm not going, I might do that sometime while I'm not streaming just to kind of do it and collect that science because honestly that gets pretty freaking boring. Okay, we're already at 245 meters per second. Let's time warp a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of encouraged here. I am kind of encouraged. Oh, come on. Let's pitch down just a little bit. Time warp a bit more. 
343 meters per second is the is the key. Is this going to make me go get another engine? I think I might have to go get another engine. I think I am. Okay, let's climb a bit. Because I'm losing speed now. That's not cool. Okay, let's pitch down. See if pitching down will get me down. I do have to watch not to crash into the water, of course. You think I should get some height, Dan? And then do a shallow dive? Yeah. I think so. I'm losing speed again. Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm time warping. That was a... <laughs> they pitch up at four times speed. It's actually... I want to collect all this science anyway. The one that takes the longest is the barometer. So we're going to do this until the barometer runs out anyway. Or until I run out of hard drive space. Maybe if I get a little bit of altitude, I'll be able to get some more speed too. Thinner air is less drag, but thinner air is also less thrust. So it's sort of a... Uh, thinner air is a double-edged sword. I don't think I'm going a little bit faster now. There we go. We'll start pitching downwards. I might need to add... If I just simply took put a third Juno on the top, like another pair of these tanks and a third Juno on the top. I'm sure that'll do it. I don't think this is going to break the sound barrier. That's okay. I'm sure another Juno on the top of this. And we'll unscience this stuff too. Maybe that's the problem. I'm going to put on too much weight with all this sciency stuff. Pitch down some more. I mean, I could just flat out do a dive. Gotta watch this. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not do this while time warping. I don't know. I think... Okay, I'm gonna pitch up because we're getting close to the water. But what I'm thinking... I'm thinking of doing a dive. I'm thinking of getting some decent altitude and then doing a dive. You think the air is too thick? That could be, John. I think maybe maybe altitude is the thing to do. Never quite... Maybe I need more altitude. Maybe it'll break the sound barrier up higher. Believe it or not, I did actually test this. I built a plane very, very similar to what you see here without the science on it. I was able to break the sound barrier without an issue. But now, this is putting up a fight. Let's see what happens here. So we're up at a little over 7 kilometers in altitude. Let's see if we can pick up more speed up here. i got the nice clouds going by. I should probably turn around. That might not be a bad idea. Pitching down. Let's see. Add a rocket engine. I know I could. I could stick an SRB on the back of this thing. I'm sure I could get it to just... Okay, here we go. This is going to be it. <laughs> 40, 340. Okay, take time warp off. Oh, come on. It was there. I thought you were there. There it is. We did it. A little bit of a cheat. Got gravity to help us a little bit, but... We did it. Let's head home. Oh, our barometer is done, so all our science is collected. Time to head back. Oh, we flew a long ways, didn't we? We are out of sight. We did it. Return home safely. We have to still return home safely for the contract. Okay, uh, this science bit is all done. You can see here, by the way, if we take a look at our info tab, just to show you how all the ways we can, if we look at Jebediah, he's got himself a little heart here, and this is what his health is at. Uh, so you can see he's fine for eating, drinking. I think he might have, does he have? Yes, he has 
Uh, five days of food, five days... I could have lost some of this food and water. That would have... Uh, that would have shed a little bit of weight there. He's got five days worth of food. What did you think was going to happen to you out here, Jebediah? Um, his breathing is good because we're still in the lower part of the atmosphere. Remember, this isn't pressurized. CO2 is good because this cockpit is not pressurized. It's well ventilated. He's getting a little stressed. I don't know why. You don't look stressed to me, Jeb. And his radiation levels are good. And then these are his, his mental states. Uh, and uh, so, and that all has to do with, once we start putting them in capsules and putting them in space, that will be a much, much bigger deal. Get him back home. Flying into the sunset. Oh, that's what I wanted to look at. What I do have, since the KSC is out of sight, if I put on... There it is. Waypoint Manager. I do have a waypoint on the KSC. And it actually is also... Oh, it's telling me my distance to target and my ETA. But what I can also do if I get into the settings is I can give a heading to target. Let's close that. So now it's telling me a heading to get to my target. I should be at a heading of 263 degrees. So we can tweak our heading here a little bit. There we go. So I like that waypoint manager, it's pretty handy. The only thing I don't like about it is where this data is tends to be where sometimes the game sticks up notifications on you. Oh yeah, this isn't a sunrise. This is a sunset. Sunrise is that direction. We're going west. Alright, so four time warp speed. We still got seven and a half minutes, but that's clicking down, ticking down very quickly. Not a bad plane. I'm 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 sort of semi pleased with this. So let me think. Let's think about right away. If a plane was coming at this from the right. You have two planes that are on a collision course. The plane on the right has the right of way. Yeah, and they would see this green light telling them that they have the right of way. I don't know. I gotta I gotta look into the whole lights thing. Oh, that's right, you told me red should be on the left and green on the right. Yeah, so that makes sense. You're absolutely right. Should not have dealt doubted you. And I can tell the center of mass is in a good spot compared to the lift because if I just tap the F key, it just kind of goes down just a little bit. So it's a little bit nose heavy. It's probably a little more nose heavy now because, oh my gosh, we don't exactly have a ton of fuel. Should be okay. Oh my gosh. Been kind of reckless with my fuel. I thought I had tons and tons and tons. Oh, wait a second. I think these gauges weren't... I don't know. How much fuel's left? No, they're right. Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to be okay, but I, I, I got to be conscious. This thing doesn't have the best range in the world. But we're getting close now. Closing in. Okay, I might want to start to reduce my throttle here a little bit. <laughs> we're not going to land 300 meters per second. Oh, can you move this data? You might be able to. I didn't even look. You know, I really probably shouldn't be fiddling with this. I really should be thinking about my landing, shouldn't I? Okay, let's... Okay, throttle off. Come on. I'm not paying attention. i got to stall this plane. We're going way too fast. Uh-oh, ScanSat mapper has been disabled. That probably means it ran out of either electricity or storage space. One of the two. Okay, here we go. That was Jeb's reckless way of slowing his plane down. See the runway now. There we go. 
So I just had the engines right off. I didn't really pay attention to the stall speed of this as we were taking off. I suspect it's probably in around 50 meters per second, maybe a little more than that. But I think this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. Yep, yep, yep. This went much quicker than I thought it would. Okay, let's put her down. Gently. Whoa! A little bit of a bounce. There we are. <laughs> Tap very lightly on the brakes. We're there. We're there. We're down. Contract is complete. All right. Nicey nice. Nicey, nice, Jebediah. Okay, let's recover. Okay, so that was some science, too. What did we get? Oh, 30.7 science with that little adventure. Up to 71.9 science now. Jebediah got one experience points for his troubles. We got some notifications here. Milestone. Oh, oh, we have performed an EVA test at home. Now, notice with these milestones that I'm being docked. Uh, minus uh, 128,000 curb bucks. So I only got 320 curb bucks for that. So i got to be a little bit careful not doing too much stuff in and around curb. And again, that has to do with the moon probes strategy that I have enabled. It's rewarding me for doing stuff around the moon, but punishing me for doing stuff around other places but I still wanted to do that and let's see close that and uh, yeah breaking the sound barrier mission success that is awesome a new strategy is available local science 2 okay we'll deal with that later actually maybe take a look at that local science 2 what's local science 2 oh that's probably local science 2 Plus 50% for KSC Science. I, there is no KSC Science in, with Kerbalism. But plus 25% bonus for Curb and Science. Cost me 20,000 Curb Bucks. Uh, something to think about. Now to pick up a third of these strategies, I do need to... Uh, I do need to uh, upgrade the administrative building. Is it worth it? Oh, I can't afford it yet. Okay, so that, that kind of nixes that idea. All right, oh, well, well, well. I, in my mind, I, I still want to do, let's, let's do another flight. <laughs> we got this plane, let's put it to the use. Let's, let's do, uh, let's get Valentina to fly this thing. So, let's see here. Let's look at our science. We'll, do, we'll get some more science with this. So, in the I th let's look at the various sciences we have so to limit your report oh you see you can collect so that's biome specific the radiation scan is not it's only flying low so this is coming off and you know what I think I might just do I think I know what I'm going to do. I do know what I'm going to do. I am going to we'll get Valentina aboard, but what I'm going to do, let's extend, let's, ah, here, take this off. I got, I got a whole plan here. Uh, I'm going to put on, thinking of science, a mystery goo and a materials science junior. And the science junior should probably just sit right like let's actually turn that science junior the other way and then I'm gonna move these guys onto here okay we'll fix that all later oh, oh whatever we'll fix that in a little bit now this can come off this can go on this can go on come on Again, we'll tweak that down and we'll collect ourselves a mystery goo. Collect ourselves a mystery goo and a, uh, I can say a, a science materials bay. 
Science Junior. So we just got to tweak this up a little bit and then we'll finish off the stream just with that. It's a little trickier because of Kerbalism. So this isn't a done deal yet. But, oh, where's our mass and our lift? Back a bit. Down a bit. Feels good. In a bit. Okay. That should be all right. And we'll put this on waiting. We'll get a mystery goo. Okay, let's get this and this out of here. We'll just put on one of these. Keep the, bar uh, the barometer because that still has stuff to collect. Yeah, another little sign. Put this guy on waiting too. Now I gotta be a little careful. Oh, these collect samples. That is right. So the mystery goo is one sample and the materials bay is four. And can this thing hold samples? Oh my gosh, I got too many windows open. There we go. Sample capacity is four, shoot. So I need to collect, well, I guess I'm putting you aboard. You're a big thing. We need to hold these samples. <laughs> we'll tuck this in so we can pretend that this is sort of aerodynamic. Doesn't have to go far, it just has to get into the air. Uh, how many samples does that hold? That has nine slots, so I don't need to upgrade this now. So there we go. The Materials Bay and Goo are not biome specific. So all I want to do is fly up, collect them in the air, and come back down. That's that's the whole thing. Now I do have to think about electricity. In particular, when it comes to the Materials Bay. The materials Bay. Oh my gosh, come on. It's electricity usage. Where is it here? There it is. 2.04 units of electric charge per second. The Junos generate one electric charge each. Um, so what I should do is probably stack on some batteries. I think I will. Just stack on some batteries here. And I'm, this is going to be indiscriminate. <laughs> indiscriminate adding of batteries. We'll see how this goes. So that's an extra 800 here. Let's a thousand units of electric charge. <laughs> oh, let's do this thing. Let's do it. This, this is sort of, uh, let's see. So mass and lift again. That looks okay. And uh, I, 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 think, I think this should be good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this plane's already proven itself. I don't see why I need to stress about this. It should be good. And we're going to take Jeb out. We're going to put Valentina in so she can get her first flight in. We're going to take a look at the cargo. Valentina does not need an EVA pack. She hopefully won't need the parachute, but we'll keep it along just in case. All right, so this is going to be our final mission. Now, it does take over 20 minutes. How long does it take? Well, whatever. Let's do it. The craft has too many parts, you stinker. You stinker. How many are we over with? We are 11 parts over. Well, the batteries are clearly... I could, of course. Okay, let's save. Too many parts. Ah, uh, use a fuel cell. That will be less parts. That makes way more sense. Thank you, John. I just saw John. I always forget the fuel cells. Use a fuel cell. What's wrong with a fuel cell, Mike? There's nothing wrong with a fuel cell, Mike. And that will reduce all these parts too. So we can take this battery off. All these batteries can come off. This will save us a ton of parts. This is cheaper than there. Are we still over? We're still over by one. Ah. Uh, okay. Then what we're going to do 
is just we're gonna strip this right down there barometer will come this is gonna be nothing but for how many parts are we at now 29 I don't oh I could take the lights off sorry lights are coming off okay fuel cell there we go and this fuel cell runs on hydrogen and oxygen so if we get into these little tanks now I'm over again so I'm gonna have to take off more lights that's oxygen and configure this tank to be hydrogen there we go and I think I gotta lose one more part oh sorry we're gonna lose a little light here on the bottom there we go there we are this should do it okay again let's make sure we haven't messed up the aerodynamic properties of this too much I think it should be okay the sample storage container is needed for the five units of storage this thing can only go up to four so I do need the sample storage container for the goo and for the materials bay okay save it crew Valentina cargo still just a parachute okay let's do it Oh, they can stay in the experiments, John. I didn't finish your sentence. John said remove the sample storage because they can stay in the experiments. You are 100% right. The goo itself can hold the storage and so can the... Oh, well, I'm done now. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so this should be pretty much ready to go. So let's start the fuel cell. And view on chase that's on that's on throttle up and punch it I was getting yes I didn't I don't need to store the samples they'll be stored in the experiments themselves because we'll be bringing the experiments back so this sample storage thing wasn't necessary there we go okay we're up and we'll just fly around the shores here and this should now be collecting data. It is running and it's going to run for 20 minutes and 35 seconds. And let's take a look at our electricity. Our electricity is sort of flashing around uh, perpetual. So the fuel cell is definitely doing its job. Um, I'm hoping we got enough hydrogen and oxygen. Ugh, I'm not so sure. I kind of just slapped it on there. I didn't even look. According to this, we have an hour and 46 minutes of hydrogen and oxygen, so it should be... I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, uh, we're going to time warp. And collect this science. And I'm doing my best to stay above the shore so that we can also collect all kinds of shore... Oh! Maybe we already got the... Oh, I took the barometer off. It doesn't matter if I stay above the shores. Silly. Okay, that doesn't matter staying above the shores. So we'll just kind of fly around. <laughs> fly around at four times speed. So this is just about getting that materials bay. Should be some good science, though. Well, 14.4 units of science from the materials bay and uh, whatever it is about the goo, the goo's doing it too. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think I'm fine for hydrogen and oxygen. I'm noticing here it says that I got an hour of hydrogen, oxygen and hydrogen left. So, yeah, it should be fine. didn't have to strip the plane down quite as much we'll get the plane back to its other state in the future whoa everything's so twitchy though at four times speed there we go what do we got we still got about 13 and a half minutes 
out of the 20 minutes it takes to do the materials bay. That's the thing that we're waiting on. I'm pretty happy with this plane. We fly around. Let's go buzz the island airport while we're doing all this. Yep. Yeah, I could have taken that off. That still wouldn't have got me all my lights back, though. That's okay. I do have some lights. I just realized that. Yeah, I didn't take them all off. There we go. And like I said, I'm not, I think I will take this thing when I'm not streaming and go over different biomes and uh, collect science over different biomes. Not that it's a whole ton of science, but I am just kind of a completionist. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this mountain community up here. People built these streets up here. Oh my gosh. Uh, not that it's a ton of science. For going to all the different biomes with the barometer and the thermometer and all that kind of stuff. But it is, um, I'm a bit of a completionist, <laughs> but I won't torture you with it. Okay, we got about seven and a half minutes. Oh, this is taking longer, even at four times speed, than I was hoping it would. Yep. Have you ever played with the... Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to watch my altitude at the same time while I read. Have you ever played with the idea of airdropping science packages to central or wing-mounted drop pods? Yes, I think that's not a bad idea. Um, especially once you have the uh, seismic accelerometer, which is, um, you know, and you can drop it into different biomes. You could also, of course, land the plane in different biomes. I don't think I'll do that with this plane because I really don't trust these spindly landing gear on rougher terrain. It, it, uh, but once I have the uh, retractable landing gear, I'll probably take a plane and go land in some different biomes. Okay, three and a half minutes. Let's start heading back towards the KSC. We've collected most of the science. The goo, whoa, can reduce throttle a lot. Our goo should be largely done. The goo is done. So we're just waiting on the materials bay. And then notice the sun is setting. So it'll be a good time to put it down. A minute and a half left on the science junior. Oh, this, this. Look at the lights up on this hill. I think this would even put San Francisco to shame. <laughs> Those streets. Alright. Uh, we have 20 seconds. So the goo is... Uh, the materials bay is almost done. Alright. It is done. We can close that. Get rid of that. Take off the time warp. Take it all the way off. Okay, let's get down, Valentina. Oh, I noticed I took off lights off of one side, but not on the other. I forgot they weren't on two-way symmetry. So if we look at it from this side, it doesn't look so bad. <laughs> okay. Cut and throttle. Oh, we need a little bit of throttle. Still a ways away. All right. But for our first plane, for our first adventure with some Kerbals, I think this worked out pretty well. I'm hoping to every every uh, live stream to at least get some although the the emphasis will still be on the moon to at least have some sort of Kerbal action happening and if you don't mind I am going to sort of concentrate on my landing here we'll do a little bit of flippy floppy flaring here to sort of slow us down a little bit there we go like our approach OK, 
Okay, and somewhere around here is the ground. There it is. Breaks, and we're down. Well done, Valentina. I think landing planes, honestly, is one of the scariest things in this game. <laughs> planes with kerbals in them. But that was a success.